Hey guys, it's Devin, and it's been a while. So if you guys did not notice, I took a break for a few weeks. And in the spirit of being totally honest with you guys, like I've been promising myself I'm going to be, I know other YouTubers have been going through this as well, but my anxiety just got the best of me. My anxiety tends to fluctuate with the weather. If we go a few days without seeing the sun and it's gray and it's gloomy, I find my anxiety just tends to increase and it tends to be more of a big deal to me. Other times I can brush it off. When the weather's this weird and all over the place, I just kind of shut down and I really just needed these couple weeks to recuperate and see what I can do with my life. So I came to a revelation and that is that I have been kind of straying off the subject of this channel which is originally meant to be kind of a nerd culture YouTube channel. I've been straying and doing tea talks and WTF and I still love those series but I just don't think that this channel is right for it. I'm meant to be a nerdy YouTuber on this channel. So that is what I'm going to get back to. I'm going to be talking about books, TV shows, movies, all things nerd culture. And I think that's going to make it a lot easier to make my content more stable. So because I still want to do other lifestyle videos, I started a second channel. You can click right here to go check that out. It is called Devin Ray because my middle name is Ray. I know it's so creative. but. It's called Devin Ray. I have my first video up there now. It is how to be more productive. I worked really, really hard on it. So it would mean a lot if you guys went and watched that video, liked it, subscribed to that channel, and comment down below on that video, on my how to be productive video, if you came from this video. So I know we had that connection already. Like, it'd be great. So I think that's pretty much it for like wrap up stuff. And I'm going to get right into the video, which is my top five TBR. And I decided to do this because I'm not very good at sticking to monthly TBRs. I read more some months and then I don't read for a couple months. So I decided to do a top five TBR where I talk about the next five books I'm going to read. And then after I've read those five books, I will do another TBR video and also wrap up what I just read. The first book I'm going to be reading is The Help by Katherine Stockett. I'm already about three quarters of the way down this book. I'm hoping to finish it before next week, possibly, but I'm loving it so far. I loved the movie so much and the book is 10 times better. I highly recommend this. It's set in 1962 Jackson, Mississippi, and I love that area and that time era, and it reminds me a lot of The Secret Life of the Bees, which I read when I was in my senior year of high school and I adored, and this book is just so incredible and it reminds me a lot of that and I love it even more because of that. I think this is a really important book to read. It's a very enjoyable book to read. I've been flying through it and I love it so much and I'm really sad I put it off for so long. The book I will be reading after The Help is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas and this book, I have been so pressured to read this book and this book has been haunting me and I believe this book personified itself into my friend Tara who has been riding my butt about reading this book for months. Tara, I'm picking it up this month. I'm hoping to finish it this month. It's a chunky book, like I did not realize how big it is, but I hope I fly through it. It's her favorite series, I thought I'd give it a go. I don't know anything other than there's an assassin named Selena Sardafian. I don't know if it's urban fantasy, if it's sci-fi, if it's like a its own little world fantasy. I, I don't know anything about this book and I have been wanting to read this for a while but the pressure from Tara has just made it that much more so I'm hoping to get to this very very soon. The third book on this top five TBR is City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. This is the biggest book on my TBR. It's over 800 pages. I feel like I'm tackling Breaking Dawn all over again. This is the sixth book in the Mortal Instruments series and I've been planning to read this since I finished <laughs> English. I've been planning to read this since I finished City of Lost Souls in October, I believe, because I finished it right before I went to Buffer. So October. It's been five months. I need to pick this up already. It's a chunky book. It's an intimidating book. Last book 
in the series. I've been reading the series for about three years now. I need to get on it and I need to finish this series. I don't know why I've been holding off so long. Probably because I'm really intimidated and maybe because I don't want it to end. But I don't know. We're going to have to see. The last one left on a pretty big cliffhanger. So I'm hoping that this one fulfills all of the expectations that I have for it. Then because I know I'm going to need a shorter contemporary book once I've finished City of Heavenly Fire, I'm going to pick up Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. This is the third book in the companion series of Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and Isla and the Happily Ever After. I loved Anna and the French Kiss. I read it two summers ago, and then I read Lola and the Boy Next Door for the biannual Bibliothon that just happened in January. and. It was good, it just wasn't as good as Anna and the French Kiss was, but this I believe follows Josh, who was in Anna and the French Kiss, which I'm intrigued about because I feel like I liked him. I can't really remember. I just need to finish this companion series. Like This top five seems to be about finishing or continuing series other than Throne of Glass, which is starting a series, but that's beside the point. And the final book on my top five TBR is Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan. I started this book, I think, last summer, like 2015 summer, um, when I finished Sea of Monsters, and I just kind of gave up on it because I wasn't feeling it. But the fact alone that I have so many other Rick Riordan books just on my shelf that I have to read, let alone ones that are still in the store. This is the third book in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. I loved the first two books, and I think I might have loved them just because I knew what was going to happen because I've seen the movies, but I don't know, there's something about this that just intimidates me, and I don't know if I'm going to like it, but I really hope that I do because Rick Riordan is an exceptional writer. He writes very humorous. It's like he's the male version of Cassandra Clare. So there you have it. Those are the next five books that I am hoping to read. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as usual. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all of my social media, and just be on the lookout for my next video. That is all for me and my shelfie.